Hey guys, this is News Now Preston. Uh, we're at a, another oil refinery. I've got five minutes and 40 seconds left on this uh, video here, so I'm gonna let it end out and then I will uh, do another uh, video on this one. I'm here with News Now Nephew and LOA, Last Days of Freedom, carrying a constitutional carry today. Yeah, he did. Probably gonna get on the radio. There. Three guys approaching the cameras. Entrance and visitor parking that way. So look at that, guys. I guess that would be right the visitor center. Two of them did. Yeah, it looks like two of them caught fire there some time ago. That's nice and really good to know. People say we don't put our lights on the line, do we? Oh, right. <laughs> That's proof right there. I'm gonna go get us some videos of these signage. Security notice. Marsec level one. Boarding the vessel or entering this facility is deemed valid consent to screening or inspection. Whatever a Marsec level is, I do not know. Never heard of that, guys. I think it's like, a you know, the security level. Yeah, like the yellow. terrorism and yeah, level and stuff. Level, and then again, here's another one of these signs like you've seen from the other one. No parking, tollway zone. Hey, there's still money in that one. No guns in parking lot. I don't even see if it's a uh, security gate here. Or security shack, I mean, guard shack. Yeah, this is crazy. <coughs> <man>. <coughs> Are they just self, self, I'm at like computer operated now? Did the truck guys just pull in, fill up there, and leave? Oh no, there's, there's a truck right there. That's got to be in the building right there. If there's anybody in the building. Well, it's like the other com like had company trucks that may be what they are. But look, right there is where the, tra the transfer trucks pull in and fill up. I wonder if it goes to COVID as they cut the staff down. But still, man, that's a big hazard. It is. It's a really I big hazard. Place. We were there like 40 minutes, man. We could have jumped the fence and planted all kinds of shit. We didn't, but we could have. Yeah, because there was no security to stop anybody. We were terrorists. God forbid. Visitors in trenches zone down. They're running off a satellite right there. LDOF just saw someone. What? He just saw some uh, saw a body. I hear the truck. The truck. The truck. I hear the truck going. Does this say privacy? He's security. Huh? Security. Let's go to towards the back, towards the gate over here. Get on the public, just in case I say this is not public. I mean, this is public. Yeah, no, I'm just getting over here out of his way. There we go. This is public. There's no trespassing. There's not a no trespassing sign right here for this. It says on the inside. Oops. He's on his phone though. Yep. 
K8813 Y. He's on his phone though. Probably called Metro. He might be security. He has some kind of uniform on. I don't know whether it was like a work shirt. Or G4S? Oh my God, not them again. We dealt with them at the, uh, um, yeah, the water plant. I know, I'm on, I'm on the walkway. Okay, God. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about that. I just, uh, my video just ended. So I'm just restarted. This is probably a three part video again. I can't help it, it's my phone. I gotta uh, delete my SD card. I told you that last night, buddy. Go delete like the whole thing. Yeah, I could do that. You got them backed up to your Google Drive or something. I left mine all backed up to the cloud. You went back in. Entrance to the business. Okay. So this is public. Yes, it is. Hey guys, my video is going to end in about two minutes and I'll re-record. If it won't let me, I'll go live. Visitors use yellow phone. Gas made some gas around. I here wish. He went back around where he was. He'll probably come back through here. There's a camera right there. He's probably. Yeah. Hey, Jeremiah. Okay, guys, I've got two minutes. Okay, guys. This is uh, News Now, Preston. Sorry, I had to, uh, I had to delete some of my videos because my storage thing went out. We have had contact with security, but they have not actually talked to us. They have uh, rode around, so we're waiting on them to see what they're going to do. This will be part three of the Marathon Bordeaux uh, Petroleum Refinery. Okay. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. I'm pretty open with all my subscribers. Okay. Here he comes. Here he comes. As you see, day. guys, there he is right there pulling out. The security guard is on his way. Oh, he turned around. The fuck your mama, bitch. He's getting scared, man. He's running all the way Remember, we cleared out the water facility with security. <laughs> Same company. One again. again. Photographer, you're otherwise recording this facility in operations is for Forbid it. Forbid it. Oh, I can't remember saying it right. Prohibit auto. I don't know, guys. I don't think that was on fire. But they all got that kind of black look starting up here, too. Yeah. I think it's just where the oil, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's the oil a possibility. Seeps out of them. It's a possibility. And then you got a uh, tower right there, communications tower. Yep. Big enough to 
Yeah. Yep. It's not blocked the drive. All right, guys, I'm gonna pause this just for a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to uh, take care of something real quick, so that's why I had to pause the video. We are back at the Marathon Bordeaux Terminal and Training Center. We were just at the uh, Trinity Lane uh, Marathon uh, Terminal Training Center, and there was no security on site whatsoever. We have had somebody, we think, security right around, look at us, make a phone call, and then driving around the complex a couple of times. He's disappeared right now, so I'm not sure if he called Metro or anything right now. We're not sure. <laughs> but this is at 2920 Hyde's Ferry lane or road one of the two Back, guys. He may not, but he was making a phone call as he was coming through. He was making a phone call. Yeah, use it for fire department or something.
Hey guys, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna walk up here where he turned around and see if that's part of their property. Hey, that might be them. Sound like they're coming this way. How you doing, sir? Yeah, Who are you talking about, sir? <coughs> Guys, we got contact. Just getting video of the facility, the outside, and the area. Yeah, we're walking around to get pictures of the stuff. Okay. That's why I was like, when you asked who was, where were they, I don't know who you were talking about there okay. for a minute. Well, we just, basically the call just involved. I'm Officer Pellis here. We, ha we all have body Officer cameras. It's all going to be recorded. Okay. Um, so, Policies. yeah, we'll get to that. Um, so, basically, if anybody else armed besides you, sir? Oh, no. You guys aren't armed? Uh -uh. Okay. Oh, thank um, guys. A pack of cigarettes. <laughs> No, it's not. We didn't say it was. So we just asked the question. That's no, all. Okay, well, we get a call. We got to come to it. Okay, and we have to. We yeah, have but to do y'all normally to respond to code three yeah. to calls like this um, for suspicious call activity? Call text stated oh, that good, the handgun. Oh, okay, hang, hang on one second until this truck goes back because I can't hear you. Well, when we get a call, the people outside. The call text okay. stated that the handguns were out of the holster. Someone feel threatened enough to call us. Oh, so that's why. Did you tell him that? Whether, regardless of if it was or not, I don't know if it was or not. I mean, did you tell him that's what the call said? Yeah, so, like I was just telling wow. you. Wow, they said the gun was out of the holster. No. Okay. I've got video. I can show you video if you wanted to see it. Okay. And I believe I that. Even okay, can I get your name and employee number, sir? I got you. Maybe somebody got carried away. Push it. Oh, Push Yeti. Okay, and your number? Uh, four zero zero one zero. In what precinct? North precinct. North. Okay. And yours, sir? What's your... Uh, Officer Montgomery, Do you okay. me employee uh, 772946. Okay. And he started um, giving me his, but he started to give me his, okay. but I'll wait till he gets through talking. Okay. Well, it got called in from someone who works here. Okay, well, then why don't you go inside, look at the cameras, and see if it actually happened. Investigate before you detain I'm just asking you for your We're not detaining you, we're just, you, you all just were talking to you. Well, yeah. if I'm not detained, I'm not giving No, you're not money. detained at all. Like, when we got out of the car, you all were the first ones to come up. We didn't know if y'all were complaining to who you were. I so. had no idea who, who had called we don't know us. Who, we don't know the person that looks like they called us, so we saw you guys. Well, he like, said he suspects me of a crime. Well, what I have now, at this time, is that someone was outside with a handgun in their hand, and someone felt threatened enough to call us. I think what it okay. was is the way the I think what it was the way we was holding the cameras. They thought it was a gun. The way he was holding the cameras. And I saw you right on the corner. Yeah, that's why I was that like, you were the person that called. So I mean, we don't know who called, who did what. If you show up and talk to the person. Yeah, that's the yeah, reason why I was like, who? Don't be good. Okay, I understand that there's a new line and all that, and that's fine. I, I have no problem with that. Um, if you don't want to give me your name, I guess I mean I'm not going to force you. Um, I just it, it'd be a little easier for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because we have to. We're here now, just trying to conduct an investigation. Can we do? Can, you, before, can we do me a favor? Can we just slide off the road some road? Oh, yeah, that's why I came over here. here. Can we step over there? Yeah, we can How you doing, officer? Can I get your name and employee number? Okay. Can I get your name and employee number? Chase Harriman, three two zero five eight two. Thank you. Five. Ooh. They had a separate. Yeah. Oh. Let's find out. Is there a sergeant here? No. 
So well, my partner is gonna go. Whoever called this in, we'll get all this straightened out. Because he's lying. Okay. He made okay. a false. Yeah, I mean, if I have to, I can show you the video and, uh, where he never pulled a gun out whatsoever. He made a false police report. I want to press charge. Yeah, that's illegal. If that's that's a video, video, I will. Well, as soon as uh, you get a sergeant out here or wherever this uh, witness or whoever it was called, you'll come by. And yeah, he's, if he still says it, then yes, I don't mind. Report, I do not problem. mind showing that to you. But wait till whoever called in says that so they can see the same thing. No problem okay. whatsoever. Okay. No worries. Like I, I know. said, when we come out. We like I said, if you go inside and you see that I had a gun in my hand, I'll give you my name happily. I'll hand you my ID. Yeah, he but never, I I, I never had a gun out. I know I didn't do it. No, he never. Prove I didn't do it. Yeah, we got all on cameras Even their here. cameras will prove that I didn't. And I think he's broadcasting live. Six so six people recording. No, Could one person show me the video for now? Well, they, it would be reasonable? one of them. Yeah, he's recording live. So. Oh, okay. Um, okay, guys, cover me. I will show you guys. I'm going to show this uh, officer a video. So just bear with me. I'll be back with y'all. Give me one second. Preston, sign it out. Fake report like that. Okay, Wait, guys, I'm back. I uh, just had to show an officer a couple of videos. As y'all did. You see what I'm saying? They came code three yeah. at us over here, it sirens, went, went, everything. Yeah. In today's age, you don't do that shit. Why don't I send you a frustration? Look at all the people getting shot in Nashville. And then he calls this bullshit like that. That could cause y'all to shoot one of us, you know? Because I'm going to have all my people. All right, um, are you guys... Okay, to, you mind if I talk to you for a second? No, go ahead. I'm okay. just keeping recording. I'm going so back to recording. the person who called us, um, they then changed their story and said no one had their handguns out of the holster. So, you guys are doing absolutely nothing illegal. Um, I'm not sure as far as... Maybe you guys know better than me, like federal laws. Don't like well, right as now. long as there's uh, no trespassing sign on this property, we're allowed to be here. There is a no trespassing sign on the fence, but that's for the inside. Yeah, of the that's fence. saying don't jump that fence. And then if you go further down that way, you'll see visitor and visitor entrance area. over there, and that's all public, and it says the same thing, no trespassing on the property. Which everybody knows the city so. has a right away from 15 yeah. feet. I mean, we could know, walk up to that. We could walk up to that no parking sign and zoom in, mm -hmm. and we're good. As long as we don't cross that barrier yeah. in there, we're good. Then that'd be trespassing like I was telling or attempted though, breaking in or however you want to call it. You know? everything that's going on, you don't call and make a fake report like that that somebody's waving a gun around because mm -hmm. it could have ended way differently. It could have. Maybe the cops wouldn't have been as cool as y'all. Exactly. Them. You know. Right. See what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I think, as far as Metro Nashville goes, I think you probably. It could have been, been okay. It could have been another Daniel Schaefer incident. Get down on the ground, obey my commands, and make one little mistake in your fucking day. Mm. Well, you see my point? You I don't, mean, you don't call and make and a mistake. We definitely don't want those things to happen. Which is why the way we approach you guys was to say, okay, let's have a discussion what's going on as opposed to being egregious with the accident. At least you get it, he don't. Well, well, he, understands he understands a little bit, just I, a little bit, not I, much. He what doesn't what understand missing? hardly. What am I missing? Because when I said that, you was like, eh. Yeah. He's like, what? eh. Like, well. No, no, cops don't do that shit. No, it's just but yet. We can see the other I can pull up 15 videos yeah. right now. I just, people I just standing outside the fence. You don't know what they're doing. They're filming, and one of them's got a gun on their hip. I'd be a little freaked out, too. But it's on the hill. I mean, sure. Yeah. But that's that people can still perceive that in a way that's right. Yeah, but what he's basically trying to say is don't you think that if, 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 he, was rever if he was reversed the roles, would you yeah, not you feel the same way? I'm sorry. I was talking this. All. I said if, uh, if it was the roles that was reversed and say the roles are reversed and he was him. And then he pulls up and he sees a gun and the way he went at it, he could have shot him. The cop could have shot him or something, you know? That's what he was trying to get across. You have to understand, we, we understand that your, it's going to freak your, some you know, people out. Coming from, we oh, yeah, I know that. Yeah. yeah, I know y'all. I don't think it, it's okay. necessarily representative yeah, but, I mean, of the officers that are here. Saying, but now as, I guess that's what I was saying. I, don't, Perry, I trust these guys. Everybody would be able oh, yeah. To do something okay, like that. I see. I get why. Um, in, my, in my personal People experience. People read the, the latest law updates. Right, that's true. I mean, you know, some people don't pay attention to things like that, you know? And I learned the work we've learned not to just assume somebody, you know, knows something that they may or may not know, right? I mean, that's a fair assumption to make, correct? Correct. So, it's like I didn't assume that, you know, you, you know, you're a bad guy when I pull up. I just want 
say, hey, can we talk? What's going on? I mean, What's I just happening? fucking hate liars, though, who call the police and lie to get y'all here. Sure. We, and we're not Waste tax fans. dollars. We're, yeah, we're not fans of that either. Trust I mean, me. you're wasting tax dollars, y'all. Here, y'all could be out doing something better, you know, actually getting a criminal. I mean, I do. happens of, a lot, man. And still I mean, you've got, you've got one, you got one false report right now that he just called. There was no weapon, no nothing. That's considered a false report of Even a crime. He, yeah, second he one, second yeah, one, okay. second one was I showed you the video where he was on his phone texting or in talking, which is illegal. That's a violation of the state law, not much less the city so ordinance or city law. Interject for just a second. You want to make a report, is that correct? Yep. Okay. We can do that. Yeah. We'll take care of the report. Absolutely. But now we do need your ID for the report purposes, okay? I'm reaching for my Oh, you're wallet. fine. You're, you're fine. fine. Oh, my wallet's in the corner. I can give you my name and information. Okay, okay that's fine too. Go ahead. Okay. You call. Okay, guys. Sorry, I'm back. And then he I has to put sure that on. The, he has to. You know. He'll put. He'll put the complainant's name on the report, and then and then whoever else he dealt with that we spoke with as well. Okay, so that's how that works. And also something new that we added is the body worn camera check box. You'll see that. Just to let you know that we're wearing body cams, as you can see. Yeah. And that at any point, this is obviously um, public record. Yep. So that if you want to attain a copy, there's a number on there where you can call to attain a copy of the actual body cam. Oh, okay. Okay. That's All right. that's so that's too. something new that they, you know, with the rolling out, because the body cams for Metro is probably uh, they, about a year and a half. The end of July, ain't it? I'm sorry? Y'all will all be outfitted. We should be all outfitted. July, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is new for us in this precinct. We've only yeah. had them for about three months. So. I'm glad y'all got them. I mean, oh, I am too. I am too. I am too. I am too. Because but it, the it, one it, thing I don't agree with is y'all are able to mute that or stop it at will. Well, we could. I mean, just I like you could be, as well. Like I said, if you just push the stop button, I mean, it's the same concept. I think it actually should be, you know, if you if you tamper with public records by muting it or stopping it, it should be public. So, on these body cams, there is no way for us to mute it once it's recorded. So, when it's the red button that you see right there, that means it's going. Mm -hmm. It means it's audio and visual. When it's not red, that means it's only uh, visual. And as soon as you hit it, that's when the sound comes on. So that's why if you've seen videos, and you'll like see that the cop. Delay. Right, it's a little delay because that you know the officer hit the button and then it goes back like a minute yeah. before. My body cam does the same thing. Okay. So. What kind of body cam do you got? It's a, like what uh, brand? Uh, uh, oh my god, um, Bolo. Okay. Well, I think we tested a couple. They had a test period about two years ago. They had three or four different cameras they were testing out. I What's guess this is the one they won. Brand so. of that one? Watch guard. Yep, watch guard. All right. It's all right. We got the phones that hook up to it. So. Small. Like I like the other ones. Oh, I don't big like the big man. Yeah, yeah, you know, and and still it's still a little Mine's flimsy. Mine's actually a little smaller than that one. Do so oh, you yeah. have one of the new polos? Yes, this is the, the new yeah, okay. polos that I we're thought it was because it's got the little thing. in They the, do, and <laughs> they're meant for the outer vests. That we've been approved for, but you know those are on back order because everybody wants one. So, <laughs> y'all have a lot of crime scene tape now, right? Crime scene tape. Yeah. What do you mean, like? Like the mean? yellow tape. Uh, a lot. I mean, I guess they they got them in storage somewhere. Because we do uh, cop watches a lot, and we've been on a few shootings where officers have said that they can't put crime scene tape up because they don't have no crime scene tape. <laughs> that Metro was <laughs> Metro was cheap on it. Oh wow! <laughs> I never I, I never heard that one. I don't know about that one. Now we we seen we've had some of them where we go to zipper scenes and they'll have cop cars as the crime scene tape. Yeah, I mean, we you got to use what you got, I guess. Yeah. When you know? recording? Oh. All right, gentlemen, if you all don't excuse me, I'm going to step over here, make sure they're good, and then I'll come back. Okay, okay. no right. problem. That was fast. That was fast. I told you, I bet you they, those blue lights and sirens are here. I knew it, too. Quick, too. I don't think we've ever had a Code 3 call. No, first one. No. <laughs> this is the first, first one. one. First one. First one. Code 3. And then this cop almost rear into this cop going I into know, the I thing. Saw that shit. <laughs> did y'all record them coming down the road? Yeah, I yeah. did. I was right there on that side as they was coming yeah, you down. You did. You was right behind me. Yeah. See? Nothing they can do. No, there's nothing they so can do. I got my name and shit, but, You're but fine. at least I can file fucking charges on that dude for what he said. Yep. I mean, dude, I could have very easily just got fucking shot. You know mm -hmm. how easily my life was in their hands. Right That's there? what I was trying to explain to that other officer. I was if the roles are reversed, yeah. you do the same. You say the same thing. Yeah, he didn't get it. No, he didn't. He's kind of a young dickhead. You know, he got that police powers and thinks he's badass. Yeah, I got his name. I didn't get his employee number though because he started he talking. Said it was but he's going to be on the report. Okay.
So they contacted the complainant and he said, oh, my mistake, it wasn't a gun. Yeah, he didn't pull his gun out. Wow. Y'all hear that, guys? to get him here. Yeah, that's all he did. Said it just to get him here. But it still took him a minute to get here. Ten minutes. I told you we'd have contact on this one, guys. I just had that feeling. Make him stand there. Right. So he's finishing up now. Um, and then he'll be done. He'll bring the card over to you and then we're good to go. Okay. You gotta be... I know he ran me. I'm good, ain't I? Yeah. I, I mean, we didn't think I you were. I my gun lawfully. I'm not, a, I'm not stupid. If I was a criminal, I would have fucking ran. You know, think about it, <laughs> and I, you know, and, and we don't just assume people are a criminal just because we roll up on the phone and they're well, there, man. You know, it's one of those things. All right, here comes another one, guys. All righty, I got your report number right here. My last name is Pelissier. This is my employee number. It's when you when you ask a, an, a metro officer for their badge number, the badge numbers are kind of. It's not just, important. It's, it's not as important. Employee. The employee number is what I did. Yeah. So I put my employee number there. This is going to be the incident. If you want, I would ask you to get a hard copy. So you can call this number for a hard copy. Oh, so All his info. The body cams. And then I was also telling them about the body cam. So right here is the number for that, okay? So that's okay. where he checked hey, that he's wearing a body camera. And then that's the is that how you off. pronounce it? Mm -hmm. What was your badge number? I was trying to get, I mean, employee number. I was trying to get oh, before we started yeah. talking. Yeah, 3844. Three, three. Thank for you. The body cam, mm -hmm. and then that's for the report. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's two separate, two separate numbers. You got to call for that. Okay. okay. I got you. I got you. All right, you. gentlemen. Is there anything else that we can help you all with today? No. no. Good. That's right. it. Y'all have a good rest of the day. Okay. Y'all be safe you out see. there. Watching. Watching. He's got squeaking shoes. Yeah. Good guy. He's young and squeaky. You see the way his leg was? He got a leg problem too. Yeah. Well, look at that, y'all. Another walk of shame. Nothing you could do, bitches. <laughs> nope, nothing they could do. Oh, yeah. There you go, judge. Fuck you, bitch. I carry my gun lawfully. That's another reason why I did that, just mm -hmm. to prove my point. Yep. Felons can't do that. Okay, guys. Uh, these cops came five to a hall, and all of them had sirens, lights, and everything going There's on. His name and employee number at the top. Okay. Guys, right there is the employee name and the did, did, uh, number did he and name. Did you get the report for the guy's name? No, he got he's got the I, I gotta get the report. Oh. There's a sergeant right there. Look at this guy. They came in five deep, guys, when they first arrived. Yeah, they did. Look at all of them. Can't do nothing to them. One oh, tax dollars wasted. One metro officer almost rear-ended yeah. another metro officer. Yep. Driver shame. Dismissed. That young one had a fucking attitude. That one right there. Yeah, he had an attitude. Yes, he did. Oh, look. He had that look and attitude like cops don't do that. He yeah, like, right. Fucking yeah, people. right. Hey, Watch the news, dude. You'll yeah. see. No, the guy in the truck. No, actually, I think it was that. You know that black car that was going, that went by with all the guys in it? They went, they, they, went, they went up here and this way and went that way and took it back around. Then the cops went and met them. Well, I know when this guy pulled out over here, he was on his he phone. On his phone yeah. So it's I'm him. assuming it's him, more than likely. The, the amount of time it would have been from him making that call until they got here would have been about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. true. Even coming light and siren. All right, y'all. So the marathon. Porto, well, there, there you have it, guys. It was you show up at the marathon deal. and they call in false police reports on you. Saying you're pulling a gun out in public. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> saying you're pulling a gun out in public and waving it around. Fucking idiot, dude. He could have got me shot, man. Yes, he yeah, could have yeah, got yeah. all of us shot. Yeah. That's, a, that's a messed up thing, so. Because did a... you see how they were approaching? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were flanking my ass, dude. Yep. All right, guys. Well, and that one, uh, the young one, the one that gave you the report, he had his hand on his gun. Mm -hmm. The others didn't, but that one did. Yeah, he did. Well, looks like we got another epic fail. Epic fail, guys.
Well, with that being done and said, we're move, moving on to our next one. That's right. We'll, well catch y'all. We'll, we'll catch y'all on the next one, guys. Go subscribe now, guys. to News Now nephew. Go subscribe to News Now Preston. And he is carrying, he is carrying he right there, as minutes. you can see. He, he is carrying. Nothing they could do. About Nothing they could do about it. it. News Now nephew. News Now Preston, right here. Go like, share, and subscribe to him. All right, guys. This is uh, Preston signing out.